come here. Oh. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. I hope you're all keeping happy and safe wherever in the world you are. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben, and this is Sophia, our self-built home on wheels. After spending last summer converting it into our home, we then spent the winter roaming around Spain and Portugal, making our way along the balmy Mediterranean Sea to the wild Atlantic coast. We're now back in the UK, self-isolating at my mum's house and waiting out this virus with everyone else. This week, we start to make some alterations to the van and show you a very normal week for us in self-isolation. Subscribe and join us for the ride. So the British government have recently announced an additional three weeks to our lockdown. So we're going to be here for the next three weeks. And then who knows what's going to happen, whether it's going to be extended again or whether they're going to ease it, you know, ease the lockdown gradually with some shops opening, maybe younger people being allowed out. Who knows? I have to say, like, the past three weeks have flown by. It feels like we've been here for about a week, um, which is just crazy. What are you doing? Well, first of all, I'm going to let you into a little secret. This is the second time we've recorded this now because I just spent a good five, ten minutes chatting and Chess realised that she hadn't pressed record. <laughs> no, I'm so, so sorry. Okay, so what are you doing? So for everybody else apart from Chess, who already knows what I'm going to say, when we were in uh, Belgium or Germany, I think it was Germany, Germany yeah. we thought we could hear, because of the rain and it was really cold, we thought we could hear a leak or like a drip. So we searched everywhere and we couldn't. But what I actually did find, in, well, what I actually did find instead was that I hadn't insulated this part of the, um, of the roof properly. So I hadn't got any insulation board here on this, on this metal here. In fact, all I'd done is put foil tape across. Um, so what was happening is that we were having a build up when it was really cold. We were having a build up of condensation here and it was actually dripping onto the back of these wood, bits of wood, or onto the panelling, um, and dripping into the cupboard. So what I did then, so I took everything down and kept drying it and everything, but then we moved, so we travelled down to Spain, didn't we? So it was hotter, it was warmer, there was, it was, you know, no condensation building up. But now that we're back, and I've already bought the insulation board before we came back, because I was going to do it on the road, obviously, but obviously we came back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to insulate this properly. Got the foam board, or Sellotex board, spray foam, got the fill tape, got the bubble wrap stuff as well. So I'm going to finish it properly now. But also, what I, I never envisioned, I never realised I should have had to have done this. So when we fitted the roof rack, because obviously the metal bolt was coming through the roof and the foot is here, obviously um, cold metal um, draws water in, is that the word? I can't think of what I'm trying to use. Um, was it when metal's cold, moisture builds up and it builds up and comes through. So the bolt was actually wet as well. And I can see a little bit of rust on the bolt. Well, I say a little bit of rust, it's just surface rust. On the bolt, not on the van, the van's fine. So what I'm also gonna do is cover all the bolts on the roof rack feet um, with Sikaflex as well as sealant. And I just happened to see recently a video, uh, or watched a video from uh, Greg Virgo, who did the exact thing that I'm about to do. So, you know, we, if I saw it before, it'd be fantastic, but I've seen it now, so I know I should have done it then. I know this is an absolute mess, but when we were in Germany, I thought the best thing I can do is try and to stop the condensation, is just fill it with um, expandable foam. But it didn't stick very well, and it just dripped out onto this cupboard on this bomb. So we're going to take this out. We're going to get rid of this um, and replace it anyway. No way! No way. That fit perfectly. Well, what's really good is that I took this down and it's dry, bone dry at the back there. The insulation. Let me show you what I've done. Well, on one side at least. So there, see my fingers, there. That was the bolt. So as you see, I've just covered it over uh, with sticker flex so there'll be no moisture getting on the bolt now. I can't see you. My hair is in the way. I'm on the 
head. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Maybe we stopped doing that. So I've just hoovered and swept all of this garage area behind me. We actually do keep the space fairly like clutter free. It's mostly just boxes and stuff. But it is, I say this every time, we tidy the van, but it's amazing how much stuff you collect in such a small little space. But yeah, this is all nice and clean out and now I need to get this big pile of stuff back in the van. Let me introduce you to Bernard, the little one. Oh, hello, what's this? This is say hello to the camera. Yeah. Hello, say hello to the camera. Say hello to the vlog. Everyone, this is Bernard. Bernard, everyone. So, the reason that I can keep him, sorry if I'm looking at the screen, is because he's obsessed with screens. He loves watching the TV, he loves watching your phone if you've got anything like moving on your phone and obviously I can flip out the back of this camera so he's actually just looking at himself and that keeps you interested and looking forward doesn't it? Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Is that you? Good boy. Right. We're gonna go out for our allotted... He even knows the abbreviation. Shall we go for um, W-A-L-K? <laughs> Clustered stories that keeps playing. It's Bernard's a sh uh, border collie, so he's really good at herding us. Um, like, yeah, you, you go that way. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 go separate ways. Oh, where's Ben? <laughs> Sometimes we run in different directions, and um, if I say where's Ben, he knows to run to go and find Ben, and then Ben will say where's Cheska, he'll run to find me, and then where's Ben in about five minutes flat. Where's us all out? Where's us all out in five minutes for that? This morning. Good boy, good boy. Where's Ben? Go get him. Sometimes I wonder. So this morning Ben and I are on our way to go and feed my nan. Um, we take it in turns with my mum to go and feed her. She can't get around very well, um, she can't cook for herself. So we take it in turns to go and feed her every other day. And today is our day. So Ben normally waits in the van and I'll go in and feed her. And of course we're completely safe with gloves and everything and cleaning everything and washing her hands. Okay, so whilst Cheska is inside feeding her nan, I normally sit in the van, but today, because it's gorgeous, I'm sat in the nan's garden catching some sun and also playing with this little one good boy okay drop that's it come drop good boy good boy hello how's your name she's good she's fed and watered good good sat out in the sun now voila why has yours got it's got the alphabet on it so I thought I would order Chess and I a few of these face masks because as a lot of you know, a lot of people like in Spain and Italy and Europe are all wearing these out and about. They're being handed out by the governments and things. I thought, well, might as well get ourselves, uh, get ourselves a few just in case we need them because I'd rather have them and not need to use them rather than need to use them and not have them. So yeah, we've got ourselves some nice patterns. So there's thick cotton and cotton at the back and then pocket there and I've got filters coming as well. And you can fit your and little pea head. My little pea head, yes. Ta -da. There you go. Mine's a little bit big I feel. Well, it looks really good. You look like Shredder. You Shredder? From, <laughs> from Turtles. Oh. You, Tonight I died on turtle soup. <laughs> That's my really <laughs> bad impression. Does he, does he wear like a 60s? Groovy. <laughs> no, he's not that groovy, no, no it's more not. metal, but... What plants are you growing? I've got snapdragons and... Oh! Anti-slug! Because you don't like killing slugs. No. 
I'm going to expel them, repel them instead. Now that the um, spray foam's dry, I'm going to cut that away, put some more um, bubble wrap stuff, you know, the reflectix, reflectix um, up, um, foil tape it, and then that's it. Then I can try and put the roof back up, and also I can start cutting these doors up. So, I can't remember if I showed you or not. This is the old door, I've cut this down so that it fits inside. So I'm just going to cut it in half and just use these as templates until we can get to um, like a DIY sort of thing that we need. So. so that sits, rather than it sit on here and open up that way, that sits in there. And what we'll do, because it's a template, we cut it in half, and then we've got things like that with proper magnets stuck behind so that it doesn't really pop out every time we hit a little bump. This is a uh, makeshift workbench, yeah? Makeshift work, it is a make very makeshift workbench. People are going to go crazy because you're wearing flip flops. At the moment, I'm just going to use the back side of these as templates to fit them on as if they're the actual thing until I get to either my mum's or my dad's where I've got more tools and things and I can do it properly. But yeah, for the moment, it's just a rough, rough template. Okay, so what's the verdict? Not keen on them at all, if I'm honest, but it is. It's the actual having them as a door is good. Yeah, having them as a door is fine. It's just these, I think, are a little bit too big for the space we've got. Yeah, the hinges aren't as nice as we thought they'd be. And we can't fit... Them side by side. Side by side. It's just not enough room. Um, but that's fine for the moment, because this is only a template anyway. And what we'll do is we'll get the hinges that sit sort of... On the end. Yeah. That, on the inside. That sit on the inside, so we can't really see them. But. I think it's a good start That's for getting some new cupboards because we Well the plan was only to really template so we've got the doors and then I just ended up buying <laughs> these hinges to see what it was like <laughs> anyway, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean it was. So we can do uh, do it properly when we're um, when we get back down to clean up, can't we say? Yeah. You nearly fell for it. As soon as you said, said big chest, do you reckon you can blow this all off in one in one breath or in one blow? It's a big breath, open wide, and I was going to just go. <laughs> I feel the time and the space between. It's a thousand miles of loneliness. Thousand miles from you. I think we're going to leave the vlog there for this week. Thank you so much for watching. It's definitely been a bit more of a chill week, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a lot slower. We've managed to finally make a start on um, a few changes to the van. Nothing major, but it keeps, uh, keeps us and keeps me busy, <laughs> keeps which is really nice. So yeah, we are back to our regular schedule of doing weekly vlogs. So we shall see you next Sunday. Bye. Guys. Bye. Before I go, here's a little sneak peek of something we'll be using next week. Oh, fucking away. It's okay. It's it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. You alright there, Bernard? This sat on my, on my foot. He wants me to throw a stone for him. He's obsessed with these little pebbles. I'm not throwing a stone. Go, go, go. 
Shall I say, but we'll see you tomorrow and the. No, we're not. Oh. Next time I might want to come burning and stuff. Oh, okay. Not allowed to do this. It's not fair, is it? <laughs>